Welcome to episode 30 of No BS TS, where we talk about TypeScript project setup. We've talked a lot about React in the previous episodes. This is a hard departure from that. We're going to talk about just the basic mechanics of setting up a TypeScript library and getting it to communicate with a JavaScript application or another TypeScript application, getting that all set up. Now there's a lot of boilerplates out there, but honestly, I think it's actually pretty simple and understanding how to do it from scratch will help you as you evaluate those boilerplates or implement this in your own project. So let's jump into the terminal right now. Now I'm going to create a new directory called episode 30. And then I'm going to jump in episode 30 and I'm going to create my mylib. This is going to be my new library. And let's just bring up VS Code. And we'll do a lot in the console down here. So let's go into mylib. And then I'll just initialize the repo. And I've got a package.json in there now. Cool. So let's add TypeScript as a development dependency. And then let's do our TSC init. And that's going to create our tsconfig.json file. Cool. So now we've got ourselves a nice little project here. I'm going to then do and create a source directory. And in that source directory, I'm going to create an index.ts file. Just something to play around with. And we'll export a new constant. I'll call it introduce myself. And it'll get a first name and a last name. And let's see, I'll just, uh, you know, just return a Mr. First, last, whatever, or hello. There we go. Nice. All right, cool. So <laughs> that's our awesome code that we want to use and test. So uh, let's now go and build this. So let's go and add some scripts to go and first build it. And with that, I'm just going to call the TSC compiler and then run it. So yarn build. All right. Now that put a JS file in the same directory as my source. And I really, I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that file and I'm going to show you how to get it to not do that. So over here in the tsconfig.json, we can say that our out directory is dist. So let's try it again. And now if we look in the local directory, now we have got a dist folder and within dist, we have an index.js. And then we can even take a look at that index.js. And it'll show you what it's outputting. So there you go. That's the compiled version of that. OK. So that's what we want to give over to a potential JavaScript client. So let's go and first build that JavaScript client. So I'm going to go and get back one directory. And I'm going to go create a, TIA, a JS consumer. And in that one, I'm also going to initialize it. Cool. And now I need to link those two together. So this isn't a mono repo. It is a repo that has multiple projects in it, but it's not an official mono repo. There's no package JSON at the top and it's not defined that way. We'll get to that in a subsequent video. What I'm going to use for this one is linking. So I want to go back to my lib and then do yarn link. That's going to create a local link on my current machine that I can use from any other project. So I'll go over here to JSON or JS consumer and then do yarn link mylib and that will connect those two together. So I can continue on. I can do like dependencies and do mylib in here and give it 1.0.0. That will make uh, VS code happy. And then in here I'll do index.js and I will require from my lib. Cool. It, it knows that it's there. And let's see, does it give me any hinting? No. So it's introduce, what is it? Introduce person, introduce myself, something like that. Let's see, introduce myself. Okay, there we go. Introduce myself. Console.log, introduce myself, and it's Jack Harrington. 
cool. Now let's give it a try. So I will do node, just regular old node, and then index.js. And it gives me this error. So it tells me that it cannot find that module because it package has no main, valid main entry. Okay, so let me fix that. So I'll go back over here to the package and I need a main, and, but I do have a main. And my main currently says index.js. What's not that, what it is, is dist index.js. That's where I created it. So let's give that another try now. Hey, now it works just fine. Cool. But what if I want to go and create a, a TypeScript consumer for this? So let's go and create now a TS consumer. Same drill, yarn init dash y, yarn add TypeScript dash d, and then yarn well, actually mpx tsc init to create that TS config file. Cool. And now I want to link in that mylib again. So let's yarn link mylib. Cool. And we'll do go over to package.json. We'll add that as a, a, another dep. Mylib at 1.0.0. Cool. And we'll create our, our test, index.ts. And let's see. So I want, okay, I'm going to do this again but I'm going to import this time from my lib and let's see if I get any hinting. So nope, I don't. So how do I get some hinting on this? I want to get those types. So the way that I do that is I go back over here to my lib into the that package JSON and I want to be, be sure to add on a definition for types. So types, and then I want to give it the types that I've generated, but I'm not actually generating anything at this point. If I go over into my, my lib directory and I look at dist, there's no types in there. There's no dot, dot, dot .d.ts file that I would assume if I'm exporting some types. So what I need to do there is I need to say that I want a declaration. I want declarations. So I add on declaration. And then I do a yarn build again. And let's see, did I get some types in there? Cool. Now I've got index.d.ts. And let's take a look what's in that file. And it declares my introduce myself function and gives it all of the appropriate typing. In fact, even the string that I didn't specify in there as a return type. Cool. Thank you. So let's go and put that in there as index.d.ts. Cool. And let's see now if it's a little bit smarter. Did it get it right on the fly? Nope, it didn't. Let's reopen that file and see if we can get it the second time around. And this time it gets it. So very, very cool. Okay, so let's see how, what the hinting is that I get. So let's see console.log and then introduce myself. And I, I see all the hinting that I would expect if I was in that project. So now not only am I sharing my code well with a JavaScript uh, application, I'm also getting it with, and I'm also getting the types when it comes to a TypeScript application. So cool, LG. Harrington. Now, how do I make it easy for me to develop on this stuff? So let's go over here and say that I want a new uh, function. And I want to see it immediately as I develop it. So I'm gonna, I want to create a watch. I want to have in my lib, if I'm working on my lib, I want to have like a watch. So over my package.json, I'm going to want a dev script. So this is when I'm developing it. And I want it to watch all my code. So as I change it, I want it to update and recompile automatically. So let me go over here and go into that mylib and then start yarn dev. And now it's found zero errors. That's great. Cool. Let's go over here and I'm going to create a new function called Borg name. It's going to give me back a string. And I'm going to say that there are n number of members of my Borg team. So let's see, it's going to be uh, five plus math.random times five. So there can be up to 10 members of my Borg team. 
and I'll round that. And then I am going to be one of those folks. So wrath.random times members plus one. And the, make this plus one too, why not? And I'll return, return your Borg name is member of members. Cool. Okay, now we've actually compiled that over there. So let's go over here to our consumer and then see, does it show up? Yep. Cool. Automatically in there as Borg name. And now we can do our, we can get ourselves a Borg name. Let's see, what is my Borg name? So let me go into TS consumer and then MPX TS node of index.ts. And it tells me that my Borg name is six of eight, just one back from seven of nine. All right, so I hope you've learned a little bit more about how to go and integrate TypeScript into your project and how to export the code that you've created through this series, hopefully. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click on that like button and leave a comment in the comment stream. If you just want to say that was a fun video or ask me some questions, anything is fine. The YouTube algorithm really likes comments and that helps me a lot as this channel goes forward. In the meantime, feel free to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and you'll be notified the next time a new no BSTS video arrives.